Well, after the pandemic um, and after the lockdown, I, I really, what I craved was intimacy, really, and intimacy with cinema and, and the kinds of stories that somehow I felt like I was missing during that time. And so I, we, we wrote this love triangle with these three amazing people. And what, what ended up happening was, was a, it's a film about a couple, these two, and the relationship that he has with her. Um, so it's a love triangle, but it's also about the three of them. They're, they really, they give so much intimacy to the film. So I feel like it's, um, you feel very present with these actors and with the story. Me, I knew Ira's work uh, since uh, like Frankie, Brooklyn Village. And I love the fact that he can make from something really ordinary or almost banal, a huge stuff. And I love the fact that you can feel in his movies the way he is, like not judgmental. So I love this love story because there is no codes. And it's not only about love. I think it's also about complexity of between your desire and what you really want. And uh, also it plays a lot when you know that you're going to work with those kind of people. So I was like, let's do it. Yeah, for me too, when I knew that Adele is uh, part of the crew, I knew I had to do it. <laughs> and um, no, I, I, I really believe that uh, we, we found the right um, ingredient for all of us. It was very inspiring to work with each other. And that was an energy that um, was carrying us through this entire project and gave us inspirational energy every day. Um, also, uh, I just finished a movie before we started shooting this project and I knew that I couldn't really prepare for the character. So I felt like I really depended on a crew and on a director that would um, yeah, have this capacity of um, listening and also Um, creating something together in, in kind of a collaborative way. Um, yeah, and the reason why I wanted to do the project was just simply because Ira's movies are inspirational to me because they're not only about people and human struggle in life, but they're also about um, a person that is... Um, searching for a language to talk about life and to find something that might make you feel this yeah, very unique thing that we call energy or life or, uh, I don't know, love. And it's very hard to find a formula for that. And, uh, but cinema is trying to. And I think I've always been inspired by language in general. And Ira, for me, is a, a movie maker that Um, yeah, has a very strong and unique code to simplify life and therefore to make it rich. Well, I feel like, Ira, you really wanted us to be ourselves to some degree. You didn't well, want there to, to be performances. To bring yourself. Like, yeah. there's a shape that the, the script gives. I mean, these yeah. are, they're playing characters that are built around, uh, through a screenplay um, and through locations and, and certain, and costumes that we choose, but then You're, they're also three individuals who are, who are creating intimate moments with each other. But did you feel like you had to, you created a character? Yeah, of course. That's right. But, but it was pretty close to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, which I think helps to bring um, something real and something intimate. It wasn't perform performative or trying to reach something far away, you know, was intimate to us as people, mm -hmm. the characters and the relationships. That's why I felt. Um, but yes, it was it's so interesting. I've never worked with somebody who doesn't rehearse at all. I mean, we just, we sometimes were allowed to speak the lines. <laughs> but then we would just start filming, really, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. um, I want to say I rehearse yeah. as a director, meaning like I'm thinking in advance about blocking and camera and every, you know, there's a, I, I do a huge rehearsal with the cinematographer, mm. um, but with the actors, I try to like bring a, a feeling to the set um, that allows them to be confident, but also free. Mm. Um, I don't know, is it scary to arrive? Yes. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, in a good way. It's always scary. Right, like to devote scary. yourself to a character, 
But I think you're really good to create something because there is person who have this phantasm of creating an energy, but it never takes. Mm -hmm. But on your uh, shoot, it's like you know who is re reunited. Wow, my English is going. <laughs> but you know, like he is creating an atmosphere and sometimes just a situation, or he giving you and you an action like this. The other character have something to deal with. So that brings naturality and creativity. Well, I hope it, it provokes feeling. Um, I hope it provokes questions. And also, I, I hope that they feel close to these people. There's a way in which I try to shoot a kind of cinema in which the audience is very slowly invited in, and they become central to, to the relationships. And somehow, they feel a part of that experience. Mm -hmm.